Uh, we had uh, Hendrik um, ask us on Tuesday, uh, last Tuesday. He's, he's working in Munich as a business analyst and just asked us, um, is it worth adding video and blog content to LinkedIn for himself? He's seeing lots of people doing it um, and wanted to ask uh, our own advice. And if Mark was sitting next to me, he'd definitely say absolutely 100%. And I would also say the same as well. I think obviously it can be difficult for people if they're not sure what video content to add. If you're a, you're a contractor, I think, uh, Hendrik down there is a BA, uh, what kind of video content? But it really is about what you, what, 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 what you want to talk about, the things that you, you, you know, you're passionate about, where you can offer value. Maybe you can talk about some of the... The, the things that make uh, being a being a being a good what makes a being a good BA for example um, you can talk through some of the tools that you use you could even talk about perhaps even doing a review of some of the tools and the software you know what it's like to work in an agile environment if you're working in that environment you could even talk about what it's like to be a, a contractor working as a BA in Munich just some ideas for you so it's almost like you've got to write down the things that you want to talk about and the content and your audience and you know, what are you doing it for as well? So who are you trying to resonate with? Is it because you want to build a network of other people that are, have similar interests to you? You want to give back to give back to other business analysts or aspiring business analysts? Or perhaps you want to build your brand so people, companies, customers might come to you. But I definitely think it's worthwhile. And if you mix that up with the video and you're doing the blogs and also you're doing audio as well, but if you're doing blogs and again, writing about those things, what, you know, there's a lot of, you've got a lot of knowledge, I'm sure Hendrik, tacit knowledge about how things work in organizations, what works well. Obviously you don't want to necessarily name those companies, of course, but you can talk about your experiences certainly and what you did and the value you added, maybe even the challenges you had um, then I think if you start with that and start with the list of that kind of stuff, you know, the people who are interested in that will start to, to follow you. So I hope that works well for you, Andrew. I look out, look forward to looking out for your first, uh, your first video there.